Hi, Mitchell Schwartz, your Las Vegas real estate professional since 1987. Um, the other day I was out there in the market and I was having a conversation with a buyer and she specifically asked me about the difference be between an REO property, a short sale, a flip property, what the heck is that, and a traditional resale. She wanted to know the differences because as she's decided to go out in the market to look for a property, she felt that it was important for her to understand the different aspects of the different property types so she knew how to proceed when she was writing her offer. Now before I get too far into that, I wanted to let you know you shouldn't forget to go to my website, that's findahomeinhenderson.com. You can actually click on the MLS search tool, put information in about the property you're looking for and if you haven't already done done this you could put in your pricing set yourself up to receive alerts in real time so every time there's new property on the market it pops into your email box you can follow properties put them into your favorites see when they adjust in price so on and so forth it's an excellent tool I suggest you use it if you're not already taking advantage of it it doesn't cost you anything you can fill out the information and actually get the properties that you're interested or most interested in show up in your email box before you even have to talk to guys like me so let's get back into it. Um, what's an REO? Well, an REO stands for real estate owned. These are properties that are owned by banks or an individual who's taken them back in foreclosure. People call them repos, foreclosures. In either case, they are properties that somebody or an entity like a bank has taken the time to process the foreclosure action and actually have taken possession or ownership of the particular property. So that's what an, uh, an REO is, or a bank-owned property. A short sale is where the bank agrees to accept less than the amount that is owed to them um, to get, allow the seller to get out from underneath the property, move forward with their lives, and sell the property to the buyer at what we would consider um, at or below market value. So a short sale is just basically selling it for less than what is owed to the bank. A flip is where somebody purchased a property with the intent of making a profit. Many times people will buy property over at the courthouse steps. At the time of a foreclosure auction, these investors go down there, they have lots of cash on them, they actually buy a property, say at 100000 they put $5,000 into fixing it up, maybe it needs a little bit um, new carpet, a uh, coat of paint, and a couple of plumbing issues to be fixed. Um, they'll actually then put it back onto the market with the intention of uh, selling it at a higher price to make a profit hence the term flip. They actually buy it and flip it right back into the market. A traditional resale is what we're all used to from the past. At least back in the day when I got my license, we'd actually have a seller, uh, let's just say mom and pa kettle, who actually own a piece of real estate. They probably don't owe any more than it's worth and many times they'll actually own it free and clear and they're interested in selling it to a ready, willing, and able buyer who's willing to pay a fair market value for the property. There's, you know, there's some haggling back and forth, but for the most part, you're dealing with a real person, not a bank or an investor or a mortgage insurance company deciding whether or not they want to sell short. It's just a traditional sale. Somebody who wants to sell a property and a buyer who wants to buy. I know these were really basic explanations, but they seem to satisfy my client, and I hope that information is helpful to you too. Of course, if you have additional information or want further explanation, feel free to give me a call or you can uh, send me an email. In either case, I'm here and I'm available to you for any questions you might have about this or other items. I wish you the very best. Continue to look for your property and let me know when we're ready to help you out. You have a wonderful day and I look forward to talking to you soon.